Beans and Gentle Xenos coming to you live from Rick Priestley's luxurious mansion. This is the number one tournament shit show on the internet, The Creature Conference. And here is your host, Mr. Pink. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this, uh, the number one Xenos shit show on the internet. I am your host, Modern Synthesis, otherwise known as Mr. Pink, and I'm joined today with my erstwhile companions, uh, Flynn Hammer. You want to say hello, Flynn Hammer? And Z1, Z only, Z mighty, High Fleet Moloch. Want to say hello, Moloch? Ooh, that was creepy. I like it. <clears throat> also, I'm going to uh, apologize up front because um, I, how do we say it? I feel like 20 pounds of shit in a 10 pound bag. <laughs> uh, I'm sick. I don't know if you can hear it. Marco claimed that I, I sounded fine. But. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've been sick for a couple of days now, but like I felt bad because we canceled the last stream because I had stuff going on with my dad, so I wanted this one to happen. So uh, we'll see how I do. I might have to rely on my erstwhile companions here to carry more of the load. <clears throat> we can do that. Is it, is it? Good man, thank you. Well, thank you both for joining me this evening, and I can see that we... Oh, normally we're also joined by Hydra, but unfortunately Hydra is driving through the night right now to get his babies to some kind of vacation site, because I hear Germany's got Easter break if you work in schools or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, he is not able to join us this evening, unfortunately, but uh, that's okay. We still have some fun stuff that we want to talk about. Um, namely, you can see them up... On the screen right now, Games Workshop previewed some new Gene Silicon Cult models this week, so I thought we could talk about that. <clears throat> and then, um, as Marco noted, maybe talk more generally about like the possibilities of an actual Tyranid kill team rather than just a Gene Silicon Cult kill team. And then uh, Marco found something really tasty that's uh, pretty large scale, larger than Forge World scale. Um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that he uh, he shared, and I think that it would be a cool thing to go over this evening. So yeah, that's what we have in mind. Um, happy to see that we're joined by James Milner. Oh my God, you made one this time. Thank you, James, for making it. <clears throat> hey, James. Howdy, Symbio Joe, Cat in a Box. Good to see you, buddy. Moon Forty Four. Good to see you. Radon Nine Nine Five. Bargase is here. Hey, Bargase. Um, oh, Bargase can hear Nurgle's blessings. Okay, there you go. I'll be coughing and snotting soon. Don't you worry about it. There's a big giant... I've gone through, like, I think three rolls of toilet paper. I don't use Kleenex because I'm not a chump. Um, so I just grab a roll of toilet paper and use that to blow my nose. And I think I've gone through at least three. <clears throat> Maybe four? Here we go. There you go. There's some sound effects for you. Oh, shit, what? I think my mic might be wrong. Hold on, let me let me bear with. Let me uh, do some settings here. I doubling. might be doubling. Okay. That one. Okay. Does that sound any better? Oh, maybe on the stream. I guess you guys in Discord land, you probably hear me just the same. Uh. All right. So, um, Marco, Flinhammer, what have you been up to this week? Hobby-wise or otherwise? Flint, you should go first. Should we go first? Yeah, you go for it. Uh, so, since we've been basically for months since we've been together, uh, I've been sorting out a lot of storage stuff for my guys. So, I have gone from being cardboard boxes to plastic boxes that I'm slowly putting in magnetic sheets and mag going to be magnetizing bases for better storage. Cool. So I've done that for a majority of the stuff now I have. So it's it's slowly coming together. Yep. Uh, but this month, mainly for me, uh, posting wise on Instagram has been uh, the March of the Stomp. I was going to say, you did a lot of giants, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, so... Uh, I just thought, like, you always have that the ultra ring players do march from a crag and everything. And I thought, well, march, oh. the march of the stomp, like, cause they, a collection of giants is called a stomp. Yep. So I've just gone, it's the, they're marching on. So this is actually all the, the last set of my giants that I've got. I've only got 
two more ideas to do that I don't have the giants for. Yeah. Liar. Um, one, I'm going to be getting it with the doing an order tomorrow for the orcs and goblins, and the other one, uh, it got it. I'm I was annoyed by one of the reveals because it is basically the idea of what I'm doing. I wanted to do with a set of giants. What was that? So I think it's the I think it's the under one of the underworlds teams, like the Sigma guys, the ones that have the 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 light the lightning rods on their heads oh i forgot about those guys i i thought yeah underworlds was the bone boys versus the sylvaneth well, i thought it was, that was Warcry, wasn't it i have no idea i can't tell you about but Can't keep track the leader of them is a guy in a trench is two guys in a trench coat oh yes. yeah and i was been planning on doing that for a, a mega gargan of just two giants in a trench coat oh that's cute just to be the last wacky giant I do. The last? I don't believe that. No! Nick, I have 171 at last count. Yeah, but you giants. haven't been able to stop till now, so, like, what's gonna make you stop now? Yeah, let's not forget, you could, you are, you could c come to 122. <laughs> it's possible. Marco's got a point. 100, 100, how much is there? Get to 100 and what? Huh? Whatever I, you I have. 122. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we've got 171 on the list. I've still got another one, the metal one to do. I've got the red, getting the Forge World Resin one from there. <laughs> I'm going to be getting the Marauder one when it goes on made to order. So I've still got a few more giants to get, but these are just the converted ones okay. I'm going to be doing. You will never be able to stop. We all know this. Stop yeah. fooling yourself. Yeah, I'd be shocked. The, the man can dream. <laughs> Forget it. And German, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. In my adventures of weird putty stuff, I'm combining um, blue milliput with epoxy clay. We'll see how this goes. Oh, the plumber's one. I would really Is love it... to watch a video on chip gum. What? I need to. Do we the video on the peppermint? Um, peppermint chewing oh, gum. Yeah, yeah. The one that I did. Uh, was that a work in progress Wednesday? I can't remember. I think so. I still don't know what it was. Oh yeah, it's my la it's the last stream that we did, the one that we do on Wednesdays yeah. with the North American crew. You should check that out. It's it's just uh, turquoise milliput mixed with epoxy sculpt. Okay. Which was an idea I wow. got from Alaskan Pete Tattoos. Never tried it before. Okay. <clears throat> it's weird. It's very soft. Very very soft. That model looked awesome when I was watching it on the streams. Oh, the Screamer Killer that I got from him? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty the, the, sweet. Sorry? The split arm bit was brilliant. I like that. Yeah. He's got some good stuff going on, that guy. Uh, oh, is there an uncured piece in here? Okay, well, we'll see. So, um, Marco, what are you doing? Turn, like... Thank you. Um, um, I've been on vacation for a week in Poland. Congratulations. For some... For some... Thank you for some rest and recreation, and I totally managed to get some solid, solid steps on painting the murder chicken from the storyboard guy. Oh, good. But I didn't get as much done as I would have liked to because I was just too busy relaxing. So That's good. it's still not as far as I would like, but I will do it next. Okay. Um, nice. And this week after the vacation, I've been attacking the second known beast that I want to do for, for my Vanguard Swarm of Full Force. Yep. I have it in my hands right now, and I want to get it finished in about a week. That is impressive. And I think I'm, that that's the way to go. Try and get the project done in a week, so it doesn't drag on. It, just as you wrote on my, on, on, on my board. But uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, you know you have to get the army finished. It's a nice way to focus, I found out. Because I was dreading starting with tournaments for, for, for the last years, because there was so much... There's so much incredible talent on the on on Insta and on, on, on the Insta webs that I was really struggling to get 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 into my first steps. But knowing yeah. I had a quick deadline really helped to overcome this. Nice. So yeah. So right now that, I'm building Norn. The new Norn, Norn thing is not and... the uh, Norn because you did you made the Norn um, the what is it the Lancer Norn that you did you made it a magnetized so it could be a Norn assimilator. But this is a different one, right? Yeah. 
Yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. The second one is totally different. And I'm super proud right now to see where it's going. Uh, and it's very different from the Impaler. Like, look, very different. I look forward to seeing that. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I'm super looking forward to sharing it uh, in a week. And it's magnetized already, of course. <laughs> cool. I can't and be I can, bothered to magnetize. I can, I can report that, that, that the arms of the Northern Impaler all fit and look okay on it. Hmm. Good. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Yeah, we have, before we just just started, Flynn, Flynn, Flynn and me talked, and I mean, of course, we could we could talk uh, uh, half an hour about the non 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 beast model, but my main gripe is they all look the bloody same. Yeah. Every single yeah. beast just on, on the internet, incredible paint jobs. Some of them were very nice variations, but the model all look the same, and I can't stand it. <laughs> no, I agree with you. <clears throat> It's so like mono. It, it's it's like different pieces, but it, it basically comes out to be monopose. It's like the the way the legs Absolutely. sit, the way it like attaches and I, to the I, face. I can I can agree with monopose in a squad where you have like ten models, and you don't notice it as much. But with a single big character piece in the center of your army, you can't overlook it. They all look the same. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, speaking of uh, oh wait, I guess I should say what I I. I haven't done a lot. I've been working on a um, commission for Bill Ford. I don't know if you know okay. Bill Ford. He's a chill dude on uh, the internet. He's a chill dude on the internet. He's a chill dude on Instagram who's like into um, Ink 28 stuff. So he is doing a, um, a war band for the Between the Bolter and Me Basterian event. Okay. And he commissioned me to make him a pancake bear. Otherwise what? known as a Nikasar. That weird alien race that no one really knows what they look like. Okay. So I am doing my interpretation of a pancake bear. It's 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 gonna look more like an owl bear with many arms and some weird armor, but uh it's still mm -hmm. very much work in progress. But uh that is what I've been working on, but I haven't been working on it much because I've been sick. I have been watching a lot of uh, For All Mankind. Have you guys heard of For All Mankind? No, but I need to. I am familiar. So, I have a stupid problem that Apple TV is not working with my drumstick. Oh, dude, I just, I just find other places to watch it on the internet <laughs> that aren't legitimate Apple TV. For a long time, okay. that stopped me, but not anymore. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's like, I th I don't know if I talked about this on stream before, but um, it's an alternate history sort of thing, where the first season starts off with like the the American and Soviet race to the moon, like to be the first to land someone on the moon. But then it almost immediately takes like I think this is the first episode. It shifts, whereas like the Americans are not the first to land on the moon, the Soviets are the first to land on the moon. And then from there, <clears throat> it just kind of like escalates, and it's a alternate imagining of what it would have been like if like the space race continued, because the Americans and the Soviets were like into the space race thing for a long time, and then they got distracted by other stuff, and they didn't really continue it. But <clears throat> their space race continues, and the Cold War basically happens through space, and like. The Soviets are the first to land a, a person on the moon, so the Americans want to be the first to establish a military or a base on the moon. Not a military base, but a base. And stuff like that. So it's it's pretty interesting. And then each subsequent season jumps ahead by ten years. So mm -hmm. the first season's got some weird stuff that's like not, you know, accurate to history. But then as you get to the second season, it gets a little further from the normal history, and then it gets further for the third season, and yeah, it gets more and more sci fi. But there are still like events in there from like history, like, like uh, I don't know, major world events still happen. They just happen in this new timeline. Okay, sounds super interesting. It's pretty interesting. It's done by uh, Ronald uh, D. Moore, the guy who did the new Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. yeah okay. So... Didn't didn't know that. Yeah, he's involved. Wow. And. Um... 
For the first season, one of the showrunners is the guy who was the showrunner for The Expanse, but I think he leaves after the first season. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's that's me for the last week. Okay, so I guess we should talk about the uh the Gene Stiller cultists in the room. Um <laughs> Yeah. In case you missed it, uh, Games Workshop did a preview this week at Adepticon, and for their next Kill Team box, I don't even know what it's called. Called Termination. That's weird. <clears throat> for Termination, they're going to have Gene Stealer Cultists in the box, and uh, they're actually the the like B kit or B team, um, whereas the A team is the um, <clears throat> Votan. Dudes, they're like the new models yeah. in the box, and then the Gene Stiller calls us uh, get the the like conversion sprue thing that we we tend to see in Kill Team boxes. Um, and most recently, Games Workshop did a really badass conversion sprue for the Night Lords, so I had high hopes for the yeah. Gene Stiller cultists. Um, and I had mentioned that. Uh, what the hell is this thing here? Sorry, hold on. I'd mentioned that. Um, I actually. Bought the uh, Salvation Kill Team box, which had the uh, Striking Scorpions in it, and split it with a friend who wanted the the um, Scouts. Scouts. And in the rule book, there was a uh, there was this thing where like a Farseer is like looking into the future, and it like hints at what future teams would be. <clears throat> and one of the teams that he talks about, like the, the warriors he sees, is like a a bladed serpent or a bladed tentacle or something like that, and it wasn't clear on whether that was Gene Stiller cults or Terminate Tyranids. Apparently, it's going to be Gene Stiller cults. So yeah. yeah, this is uh the Cadians with a conversion sprue, is what it looks like. And what do you guys think? Well, as you said, you had high hopes. <laughs> Me too. But yeah, it's just phoned in. I mean, I just I, I worked a lot on the on on the Gene Stiller models and the upgrade sprue in the last month, and what they did is up um, up uh, upgrade the upgrade sprue uh, to the current uh, cadence. So that's about it. Um, yeah, the hats pretty much the same with very very new ideas. So the old hats hats were done for the new format, and there are a couple of arms here and there which are okayish. But nothing where I thought this is up to par with the Night Lords. No. Um, so no, just wasn't. I was pretty disappointed with that, to be honest. Um, it's okayish. I mean, the Nail Fights are still a better kit in every way. Uh, every way. Yeah, you're right. And can anybody of you tell me why the Brute Brothers these days have the same rich forehead as the hybrids? I don't get it. I think they're. I think all neophytes are supposed to have that now. Yeah, and I think brothers are not neophytes. I think they're seeing brood brothers as just basically like other other neophytes with like different equipment. Yeah, it's a way to just distinguish it rather than being it's a uh, these guys have been infected uh, guardsmen that have had the gene seal of kiss happen to them. These are neophytes that have signed up and joined the imperial guard and formed their and been put into a unit together but that's not what the word brute brothers used to mean for all the history of gene cells i mean neophytes are hybrids yeah. but brute brothers are explicitly not hybrids so i don't get why they have these witches on their foreheads were they explicitly not hybrids i missed that i thought that they were like just hybrids that like served in the guard no Okay. Brute brothers are hypnotized humans, yep. uh, which are infected and serve the, serve the cult, yep. but they are not descendants of the gene stealers. Oh, okay. So it really makes no sense. I misunderstood that. <clears throat> okay, so that yeah, that makes I, even less sense that they have all the ridges. Yeah, because as Flynn was saying, they just look like neophytes with different guns and stuff. Yeah, which shouldn't be if at I, all. I like it because it was needed a new Neo uh, Brood Brothers sprue for the Guardsmen because yeah. of uh, the fact that the old it, the old one was for the old Guardsmen kit, so they they were going to have to do it. I just want to see the whole sprue 
to yeah. see what it is, if there's anything else. It's... There's, there's one see? cool picture that my brother sent me. I'll see if I can pull it up. I think he pulled it from the video. It's like a brood brother carrying like this big thing of like an explosive, and it looks kind of cool. And like, another one, has, another one has two knives. This yeah. was, also wasn't shown in the pictures. Yeah. I, there's one head in there that I really <laughs> do like, and it's basically it's just a, it's a it's a helmeted head, so you can't see the ridges. Yeah. He's got a, he's got basically a normal face. He's just got an. Uh, a feeder into his nose. Yeah, and, and that's me, that, that one I missed. I thought that was just a normal Cadian helmet, but there's no sigil on it. It's cool. Yeah, I like that really as like a. You could use it for like chem dogs or another guardsman unit, just that specific yeah. head because it works so well. Yeah. It's a cool it's head. Just, it's yeah. just a good head. Agreed. Uh, but I think someone has made a good point in the our Discord about. How they look for, uh, would they be with like the traitor guardsmen now? How would the sprue work yeah. with them? Yeah, good point. Oh, yeah. Someone said that, like, combine the sprue with traitor guardsmen. I like that idea. <clears throat> so here's the bomb guy. He's got like a big ass stack of TNT being held in a uh, gene sealer cultist hand. Looks like he's about to make it blow up. That's kind of cool. His rebreather head is cool, but it's definitely very hybridy. And here's the guy with the knives, who's less exciting to me, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I do like the claw hand, though, the, the sergeant. Sorry? The claw hand on the sergeant. Yeah, I was opposed for super lame. Yeah. Um, and then one other thing that I, I noticed that with, uh, hold on a sec. One other thing that I noticed that you can't really see well in these pictures um, is the guy here with the shotgun. It looks like he's got like yeah. a third arm coming off his like right arm that's holding the handle of the shotgun. It's like a little scything talon sticking out there or something. So that could be interesting, interesting. to see better. Oh yeah, yeah, he does. He's got. A... I do like that guy's pose, and I like the medic. He's cool. I think the sh the, the sniper rifle is way too big. The medic is definitely the best best of the bunch. I agree. Oh, I saw a post on yeah. Reddit where someone's actually uh, marked them up against the actual Cadians they are. Oh, cool. So, yeah, doesn't That's look good. too bad actually. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not a big disappointment. It's okay. It's terrible, terrible, but nothing surprising and nothing exciting. And yeah. Honestly, the bit I was most excited about is that it looks like the Gene Sealer kill team comes. You, you can feel the patriarch in your kill team? Yeah. Because that's the yeah. other weird thing that they're re releasing the. Um, well, I, I guess I don't know about re releasing. Like, it's it's been available this whole time, hasn't it? The Brood Coven? Yes. Yeah. Throwing the brood coven into the box now. It's super weird. I have no idea how that should work rules wise. Yeah. I think you could take what if you only can take one. Oh, that of might be them it. extra. Yeah. It, the way it was like, oh, sometimes you may even need to take a patri a patriarch may even show up. So, and because they're all on that one sprue together, they just put it all into one. Yeah, I really wish they broke them up into separate sprues. Because that's the only way to get the primus. This is weird. Is this does this mean that <clears throat> when this gene Slayer cult kill team is released, it will be all of the kill team and the brood coven in one big box? Yes, I think so. That'll yes. be expensive. Because isn't this brood coven like sixty or ninety bucks? Yes, it's a fair bit. Exactly weird yeah it's, it's super weird i mean cool that you can field a, a patriarch in kill team but i don't know if that's gonna be stable however, that, however that's gonna work rules wise i have no idea yeah well Might like put in a mic you get some tier new warriors okay. in your kill team they've got like 18 wounds 19 wounds so i guess the patriarch will probably have like 18 19 wounds 
Uh, this might be putting my full hat here, but if they're throwing this also into this skill team, I have a feeling they might end up releasing these as separate models when they get around to Gene Steeler Colts for the army book, just so that you have separate people. Because you've you've already got the female Magus, haven't got a Primus, and the no. Patriarch, you, you can take a Brood Lord instead, but it's the Primus you haven't got an actual standalone model easy to get on his own. Yeah. So they could be making him as a separate model and just using this to uh, fill it all up. <clears throat> to get rid of models. Yeah, I do hope that they give us a new Patriarch model that isn't all hunched over. Maybe a fat man yes. on the throne, that would be cool. Absolutely. My what do you think about the Voltan? What ahead. do you think about the Voltan build? Uh, I think they're fine. <laughs> they, um, some of their guns are cool. <clears throat> I don't like Votan. I don't like their weird short stature. People have taken, like, put real legs on them, and I think it does, like, a does wonders for them. I like their weird yeah. six shots shotguns. Oh, I didn't even notice that crossbow. It's kind of cool. Oh, and this guy with the sniper rifle. I'm like, is that the new Rattling? <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. Votan just doesn't move me. This guy with the shovel and the explosives. That guy's cool. <clears throat> what do you think? Yeah, I agree. The, the trench coats, coats work surprisingly well for me. Oh, they're cool, yeah. Yeah. I, I like so the coats. To me, I, I like the coats, but like you said, there's, there's, there's no real attachment to Votan for me to go like, oh, these look amazing. It's just, okay, next for me when it comes to Votan. Yeah, yeah same here. I agree. I mean, I guess but, it's but cool that the... they did versions of these guys, because these are the guys that are on the, the like hover bikes for Votan. So it's cool that they made them like off their bikes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think the hats are pretty cool, very characterful, and I'm totally not a fan of Votan as well. But for a kill team, this is kind of cool. Yeah. Folks in the chat, what do you think of the new uh, Broodlords, the new Votan? Let us know in the chat. We've already actually got quite a few. There's uh, rip, Ripped Lampshade earlier. I'm just trying to find where they said it. Uh, was that, I guess they, it was a retcon in regards to the Brood Brothers. Yeah. About the rules for it. Uh, Dino slices, the Votan look amazing. The Brood Brothers are okay. I like the color scheme, but that's it. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of a cool color scheme. Uh, Donald O'Mershu says, <laughs> love these new Brood lads. Cool. Um, there was other stuff revealed at Adepticon. I don't know that we really want to talk about any of it. I was actually... Um, I did not stay up for this preview, and I'm really glad I didn't, because, uh, yeah. actually, I, I checked in on it when I, like, couldn't sleep at 2 a.m. on Wednesday night, because that was, like, the first night that I was really dealing with being gross and sick. Um, <clears throat> so I was like, well, I'm up anyway, testing myself for COVID. I might as well go and check what the models they previewed are. <clears throat> and it was kind of like a, I don't know, it seemed like kind of a lackluster preview, because... They, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to do stuff for Necromunda. We're going to do stuff for um, <clears throat> uh, Horus Heresy. But Horus Heresy and Necromunda just got like teaser videos. They don't even show any miniatures they, or anything. They said they were just going to do teasers for them before the event. You did? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they had like on the poster was uh, the ones that they're actually going to have show reveals for. And then it was going to be uh, teasers for Horus Heresy and Necromunda. <laughs> Okay, well, now, they warned you. There's two bits like Warcry has done it again with a something that should be tyranny terrain. That isn't oh, tyranny I really don't terrain. like that thing. I think yeah. it's hideous. Oh, but I just I think that fate that the mouth bit basically to it is going to be brilliant for using as a piece of tyranny terrain. Just that bit on its own. Did it's Box like another... call it the ogre bidet? Someone yes. said that it looks like an ogre bidet.
That's a good one. <laughs> it, but to yeah. me, it looks like it's actually walking on those knuckles, on the roots, as on the branch roots, what you want to call it, as knuckles. So I can really see stuff that happening. Oh, cry. Uh, like, I know you don't like the young <laughs> world, but I do. I didn't even. I, I didn't like even it. click on that dwarf thing. I have not seen what's in that dwarf post, and I will not. I I do like it because I've got a dwarf puppy. I do like the as a new shield bearer lord. They've got Ungram Iron Fist, but a younger version of him. He's the Slayer yeah. King. Yeah. Uh, they've said they're bringing back some of the older models at like Prince Uth, Uther's uh, Dragon Company. You're gonna have like the Bugman models coming back. So for me, it was actually really interesting to see, but they still haven't announced it fully. But from the teaser, they say what's going to come back. You're going to have the Grudge of Drong come back, so the guy set from the War of the Beard. You're going to have Queen Helga and everything else be available as made to order. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you're happy as a dwarf boy. Yeah. Dwarfs like <laughs> Votan never interest me. They've never done anything for me. <clears throat> I loved beating the shit out of, of, out of dwarf armies when, back when I was a tournament player. Oh, yeah. Totally, because I don't like dwarves either. <laughs> it was super satisfying to beat, beat up the little guys with, with my Beastman army. Beastman? It was my last tournament army that I played with. Oh. Yep. <clears throat> Wait, you mean like in fantasy or like it was High Fleet Moloch? Was that after High Fleet Moloch? No, 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 no. Before, before I um, started with High Fleet Moloch, I used to play in the German tournament circuit for one Final Fantasy Battle. I think it was fourth or fifth, fifth, fifth edition. Okay. Um, that was my main thing for a couple of years, actually. I still have like five, six, four, five, six beautifully painted old school armies in boxes. And I used to play with uh, orcs and goblins, and I have a lovely orc and goblin army from third edition, like yeah. really old stuff. Uh, then I played with an empire army for quite a while, <laughs> and in my last years, I played with the beastman army when that that became a thing, and I really enjoyed playing fantasy battle because I still think it's uh, it's was a, a more tactical game than 40k is. So, are you at all interested in the old world? No, I don't have time for it. Okay. If I was younger, I had more time. My life wasn't as constrained as it is. I might be interested, but I'm busy enough as it is, and I still. Don't, I mean, for all the, all the hobbies I have, I don't have enough time as it is. So, yeah. in a different life, I probably I, I I might be, but right now I'm not. I thought you might have been interested in just like some of the older models that you never got around to getting that are making your return. I have my Marauder Giant. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have the first wave of it. That, that's the other interest for me is just being able to get some of those models I was never able to get yeah. first time around. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Did any one of you buy the crude box? I pre ordered it. You did? Yeah. <laughs> you said you wouldn't. Well, well, I'm splitting it with Blitz Mechanica. So that made it easier okay. to get. I did it too. I was going to ask if you did. And I even found a source for the for, for the old Narlocks. And oh, um, got me a couple. Because they're long gone, right? Yeah. Especially yeah. the small ones are hard to get. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get the new crew box. Um, <clears throat> but then um, Blitz Mechanica, like I was interested, but I wasn't sure. But then Blitz wanted like some things from it, and like the things that he wanted was opposite from what I wanted. So, uh, yeah. So I I did the pre-order. It's a two-week pre-order, I think. So I don't think it comes until <clears throat> next weekend. Yeah, it's two weeks. So which which parts do you want? Uh, the Crudox. <clears throat> One thing yeah, of carnivores because I find the carnivores kind of boring, but like I, I'm I'm curious to totally. see like, to how they're how they did them and like how they can be converted into stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. And then um, the characters. The Rampagers I'm not as as into. They're okay, but... Really? He, he said he really wanted the Rampagers. I'm like, yeah, you can have the Rampagers. I don't, I don't need them necessarily right away. I mean, I can always get them later, right? <clears throat> yeah, of course. 
Yep. So, uh, yeah, that made it easier to, to go in on it because I was able to split it out. <laughs> Not loving this putty. I'm gonna, like, cover up the fact that I chopped the, um, the mandibles off my Von Ryan's Leapers. I think there's just too much going on there. So try to make it more tentacly. Yeah, <clears throat> agreed. I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered. Funny, I'm I'm sculpting some phenol tentacles with epoxy right now. Oh, good. I'm trying yes. to. I feel like I need green stuff for this. This stuff is too soft. Maybe I can make it. Yeah, I'm just blending the between the, the face and the tentacles. For the rest, I use green stuff. Nice. Oh, there's one thing I've I found out recently about actually doing my green stuff. Yep. If I'm rolling it out and I'm trying to get as flat as possible, doing it between baking paper just really helps because it doesn't stick to either surface. Oh, nice. Because I fold nice. the baking paper over to over it and then just roll it out in between. I just I don't know why it's taking me that long to realize I should use baking paper. I know how Simon's had it as like a whole, oh, if you're going to leave something to cure, leave it on baking paper. <laughs> To make it easier to get off later, I didn't put it two and two together. I think I tried that with saran wrap, like plastic cling wrap, and it did not work. Okay. Stuck uh, to it. Be, I think baking paper is what you need because it's like anti, really just doesn't want to stick to it. Yep. Nice. Good tip. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Here's the bidet, the <laughs> ogre. Ogre Kingdom's bidet. I'm going to get rid of it now. <laughs> so well said. <laughs> Lady with a bunch of bees. She was kind of cool. Oh, these are new dryads, aren't they? Are yes. New? Yeah. I want to love these weird whip vines more than I do. But... Then uh, OCR Bone Boy's got some cute doggos. That's fun. Oh, uh, I've got some weird they've, got, they've also got they've got a skeleton centaur who I am now calling Skeletor because uh, a centon doesn't sound as good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Flynn, were you saying you like these bat boys, the OCR bat boys? Uh, no, I didn't oh. say anything. It's just this this the skeleton centaur is the best. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. Just call him Skeletor. <laughs> A dig. <clears throat> this model has too many arms. I'm trying to sculpt around them. It's not working. <clears throat> so what are you working on from Ryan's Leaper? Yeah, I Nick? took. So I took the mandibles off. Because I feel like there's too much going on in the in the mouth, so I'm just trying to like cover up the gap for where the mandibles were, make it look yep. more like tentacly. But he is not being. I want like the stretchy hardness of green stuff, softness, weird me out. So what do you think about the rest of the crude release, about the, the, the second half? I think the first half we, we discussed, yep. about the second half with the hounds and the riding beast. I don't know how they managed to make the hounds worse. Like, they don't, the, the hounds don't look good. Like, I feel totally like agree. they looked better in the, um, the Farstalker box, like the, the kill team. I don't know how that's possible. Some people have said because... Like the hounds in the the new hound box are naked, and the um the far stalker hounds had like stuff on them. I don't know. I think someone else has mentioned that they tried to make it look like the hounds are are really like crude carnivores that have like devolved, and like that's how they turned into the hounds. So they they have more like kind of like carnivore um ish morphology. 
but I, it doesn't work for me. Yeah, same here. What about the other parts of it? What do you think of that uh, that riding beast, the Lone Spear, or whatever it's called? Tower, whatever. Well, I'm. Uh, I have two two thoughts about it. First mm -hmm. off, I'm surprised they didn't do it as a crude beast. Just weirded me out. So why is it yeah. not not a narlock? I don't get it. Yeah, why is there no narlocks? Uh, what the heck? It should mm -hmm. be an. Oh, it obviously should be a narlock. I mean, we all would have wanted a plastic narlock. Yeah. No idea why not. Um, design wise, it's interesting enough, but it should be a narlock. Um, the second one is um, the in, in one, one of the two builds. I don't remember which one it is. Um, the rider looks with a spear as if it's charging and throwing the spear, mm -hmm. and the riding beast is just sitting. Yeah, like don't look right. Um, you can't have the rider moving and the beast not moving at all. You have to do both. So one of the builds just doesn't fit the same mount. Um, Good point. Otherwise, the creature is cool enough for 40k for me. I like, the, I like this kind of creature with this catfish kind of hat. Yeah. I got but like yeah, a salamander. Weird, weird decision. Really weird. <clears throat> yeah, agreed. Um, I want to make it into, because some people, when they saw like the, out, the outline for it, apparently in, I don't know if it was 40k RPG or in like one of the collectible card games or something, there was a crude crocodile or something like that. I thought that it could be cool to to make the thing look more like a, a crudy crocodile. Hmm. Rather than um the, the salamandery head. <coughs> oh. Sure, I'm someone will make a upgrade conversion kit Flynn? or something what? for Go it. For it. What's that, Flynn? I'm sure, sure someone will make like a a conversion kit for it, like either three D printed one or something similar. Yeah, that's super easy. Oh well, yeah, Felix is probably going to do that. Oh, yeah, he's at Adepticon. I saw him make a post about if you find him, ask him. He's got some like little models with him or something. Oh, at Adepticon. Yeah. Oh yeah, Adepticon's going on right now. I was gonna, um, that crew guy was gonna come on and tell us about his Adepticon experience, but he is at Adepticon right now, so I did tell him, like, listen, if you, if you get a better offer, like, you're at the event, make the most of the event. Don't feel like you have to come yeah, online and talk to us about it. Um, so. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we'll get him on to talk about crew when they're, like, actually released, and then he can tell us some stuff about Adepticon at that time. So why aren't we at the Adepticon? Hey, I thought about going. I'm I'm glad I didn't because now I'm sick. I don't know if I would have gotten sick if I was going, but hmm. I would not want to be at Adepticon you... feeling like this. Yes, of course, but you would have would have been fine. So you say. <clears throat> yeah, I I want to go to Adepticon. I've never been. It's like the you, big... you've, never, you've never been. No, no. It's the biggest um, miniature convention in North America, I think. Okay. I don't know, like, I guess maybe that's arguable. Like, I hear that um, the Las Vegas Open is, like, the biggest, like, actual tournament, but um, <clears throat> I think Adepticon is, like, the biggest, like, blended. I don't know. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's a big it, deal. And a lot of... Las Vegas Open is mainly 40k but <laughs> Adepticon is the widest selection of things yeah like my understanding las vegas open is like more the tournament scene and less like random con vendors and stuff i'm sure they have vendors too but um yeah and there's always a lot of like uh ink 28 kind of stuff going on at Adepticon, which is interesting like community events um and I feel like in, in more recent years, more and more people are coming over for it from Europe. Like, I think okay. it used to be more of like a North American crowd before, but now it's so becoming... That's why, like... that's why I'm asking why we're not there. Uh, well, I didn't know that you would be up to going, so uh, that's news. Because I definitely want... Well, I've never... Sorry? Yeah. <clears throat> I've never been to the US in my whole, whole life. I need I need to need to do it one day. You've never been to the US? 
Not once. Holy cow, I didn't know that. No. Oh, you came to Canada, but you haven't been to the US. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Um, wow. Not even like New York City. No. Nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you gotta go to New York City. That's worth seeing. I don't know about the rest of the United States, but um yeah, well, if you want to come to Adepticon, we could uh we could coordinate a thing. Maybe next year. Sure. I, I wanted to go this year, but um Nora and I are going to a wedding in um Europe in uh in May, beginning of June. So uh I couldn't justify both trips financially. Yeah. <clears throat> but I was seriously looking at Adepticon because there's a lot of people who I now know who go to it and looks like a lot of fun. I'm curious about it. I'm living as I'm laid out on the couch, snotting my brains out. I'm living vicariously through everyone's posts from Adepticon on Instagram. So those are good. I of course was supposed to go with like the the Crute invasion plan, where we were going to yes. do our our Crute armies um, team for the team tournament at Adepticon, but that was the year that COVID happened. It did not happen, yeah. sadly. <clears throat> Uh, Will, Will has already said preach conference at Adepticon twenty twenty five. Well, maybe. Why I don't think we'll get we'll get Simon over, but maybe uh, you guys yeah. would come over. We could do preach conference in the UK in May slash June. I will be in the UK. Nora's like, I want to visit my family in in England. I'm like, cool. Where does your family live? She's like, a place called Nottingham. I'm like, okay, let's do it. Yeah, I will be in Nottingham Jack the first week of June. Jackpot! Jackpot! Yeah. All right. We'll have a world trip. Let's get some, get some cyber book. The only issue is I'm only going to be there during the week. I'm not going to be there on weekends because of just like the way that our timings work. So I know it's not easy for people to get to Warhammer World in the middle of the week, but that's when I'm going to be there. This thing called still... public transport. Yeah, but like I'm we not. Still... People also have jobs and family and life and shit. Like, I'm not going to, like, assume that people are going to drop everything. Marco? Still have to talk about it. I'm, I'm still tempted to, tempted to come. My problem is uh, a month before, I'm, I'm in Indonesia for, for two weeks, two and oh. a half weeks. So I have to, I have to justify it to my, to my girlfriend yeah. Yeah. to do the trip again after that. Yeah, well, it's it England. I, just... I'm going to see a friend I haven't seen in many years. Yes, that's my reasoning. You're just gonna jump on an easy jet over to England. It'll be easy. It's super easy. It really is. Yeah, my only thing is that like I will be with Nora and with her family, so I can't do much in the way of hosting. Like I think what I can do is maybe like get like a day away for nerd stuff. Um but yeah, so I just want to be very upfront about that if you do decide to come. That's good enough for sure. Well, we'll see. Yes. <clears throat> oh, man. It just sounds so bad. I, feel I mean, bad. we don't have. We won't have to drag, drag this off this week <laughs> if you're not feeling well. Oh man, it's that bad, eh? Uh, oh wait, but we got to talk about that other thing that you pulled up. Uh, Flynn, is there anything going yeah. on in the chat? Uh, so just little bits of so, so Sibio Joe says Gen Con seems to be similar in size. Kajan says, I mean there are some vacation destinations i'll choose before the us the us is really expensive uh radon says michigan is kind of bland unless you go to the dunes or lakes okay. and lack of public transport also necess necessary yeah, i can't go read that you know what i'm trying to say yep. uh, you need to rent a car uh symbio joe says hashtag alien day in uk <laughs> Oh, I won't be there uh, then. Uh, yeah. uh, James Morgan says, Notting Nottingham in June, nice. Diana says, <laughs> Tom would be free. Ah. Awesome. Cool. Electro Bunny disappeared and returned. <laughs> uh, so it says, might be worth seeing if you could go on the painting phase. I'd like that interview. 
Uh, so I was talking to Peachy about going on the painting phase, and then Peachy left the painting phase, and I'm less interested in going on the painting okay. phase now. Damn it. Because Peachy had said, like, if you're in Nottingham, let us know. We can make it happen. So I was excited about that, oh, but wow. then he left, which was too bad. Funny, I thought about it too. They recently had a uh, Bowborn on. Who? And they still what? Who? The Space Wolf sculptor. Oh, Valbjorn. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Valbjorn, yeah. Apparently, he did a uh, anyway. session at Adepticon this year on sculpting beards and hair and stuff. <clears throat> Why would you want to sculpt a beard when you can do feeder tentacles, huh? Exactly. I agree. The beard of the alien. <clears throat> There's no point at all. Oh, alien news, in case you're living under a rock and you missed it, the preview for uh, Alien Romulus came out this week. <clears throat> and I'm a fan. Well, it's, it was a teaser trailer. Like, it's not, there's not much of the movie there, but you're a fan? Absolutely. Yeah, they, I mean, they fooled us off, off, before often enough, but stylistically and um, and mood-wise, it totally worked for me. And I watched the interview with Fede Alvarez, the director, and he said all the fucking right things. Good, about okay. the way he approached the movie, the way he talk, talk, talked talked about to, to Ridley and James Cameron, and he was really very oh, we talked to James Cameron too. Smart Good. About yeah, absolutely. And he said, he asked both of them on their opinions, uh, and both of them said very clever things about the movie, which were pretty much totally the opposite of each other, which yeah. is super funny when you think about it. Yeah. Um, it might just be a rehash of uh, of the Alien theme with nothing new, yeah. but the whole concept, uh, which he took from Aliens, about the kids growing up in a colony and how it must be for a kid growing up in such a colony is interesting enough for me. Okay. Nice. Uh, and from what I see, what I see, um, the alien fandom on the uh, on the interwebs is pretty happy about it, even after they've been burned with Covenant and Prometheus. Yeah. So right now it's looking good. Good. <clears throat> I was worried about the kid thing because I heard that it was going to be like about kids, and I was like, oh, "Is this going to yeah, work?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it does not look like they're pulling any punches on like gore and violence and stuff. No, there's set to be a, a super, super evil scene in it, which made people blah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so go check out the Alien Romulus teaser trailer. If you're, Did he talk yes. about the name, Romulus? Why it's... Yes, it's the, um, the space station, the Renaissance station is, um, is uh, split into two parts, which are called Romulus and Remus. Uh, okay. And Fili Alvarez has smartly hinted that in the classic tale in Rome, uh, I think a Romulus killed Remus or something like that. Yeah. So it's an allegory, allegory about the uh, the ancient Roman uh, Roman story. Okay, gotcha. Sense. And there's a proto pulse rifle in it. You see a gun on the trainer. Oh yeah, the girl's looks, got one, right? It looks, it looks pulse rifle rifle ish. And Fidel Alvarez uh, confirmed that it's a proto pulse rifle, so it's a pulse rifle generation before aliens. That's oh, so this happens close, before but... aliens. Yes, yes, it, it, it happens between alien and aliens, twenty oh, okay. years after alien. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the co it's set on the colony that establishes no different colony on that planet. No, not it's not set in like LV four two six, right? That's no, no, no. No, I don't think so. I, I, I admit I don't know, but I'm 99% sure it isn't. Okay. Yeah, that would be weird. Because that is, that is like Star Wars cramming everything into the, into the same small niche of the universe. Tatooine? I can't imagine that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm interested to see it. Show it to Nora. She's oh, excited. it is. The really? back in November 2023, the, the synopsis talked about it being uh, based on LV426. Really? It's how it's the uh, set there? It's the how the outbreak happened on LV426. Oh, really? I mean, the director said he was inspired by the colony on LV426, 
by the kids living there. But the two, two space stations make no sense because if there had been those two space stations on LV426, they would have appeared in Alien, Aliens. Or it would have been mentioned in Aliens. That makes no, makes no sense. I don't believe it. Maybe mm. it was misinterpreted. Maybe it was like someone reading that he was inspired. In the, in the I guess. <clears throat> And what has he directed before? I'm not familiar with his work. Don't Breathe. And what was number two? Uh, Don't Breathe. And um, Famous Horror Franchise. Was, no. Oh, Evil Dead. He did Evil Dead, didn't he? Yeah. Well, I'm hopeful. I'm also just hopeful that like the Same. alien IP is like still <coughs> still alive. A bit. It's certainly on life support, but maybe. Well, there's also the uh, TV this... show they're working on, right? Yeah, which I know nothing about. Have you seen Doom, by the way? I have. I finally saw it. I haven't. Oh, well, then I won't say anything. How happy were you? Uh, for some reason, I feel like I like the first one better. Really? It was still good. Interesting. But I think that, like, when you saw the first one, it was, like, you were getting, like, the first front row seat to, like, Denis Villeneuve's, like, world. Like, like yeah. the, the prop design, set design, all that stuff. And whereas, like, they introduce new stuff in this one, like, the whole, like, Getty Prime stuff. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like it wasn't as, uh, word i'm looking for surprising wasn't as like i don't know it was fine like it was fine uh, uh oh shit what? oh throwing up bottles huh? yeah, like, funnily enough i didn't enjoy the first one as much as i would have liked you did not um, enjoy the first one as much as you would have liked it was technically perfect like super nice and it's <laughs> Cinematography, uh, cinematography. Yeah. Uh, the soundtrack was oh, mind blowing. Yep. Uh, good actor. Stylistically, everything was very, very tight. But for some reasons, the whole character left me cold. I don't know. I don't know why. Interesting. Yeah, and I'm a super big fan of Dune, as we are all, all I guess. Um, I could see the first one like having being a little cold, like. I feel like perfect uh, word to say. Uh, Nora really loved Chani's character in this one. Okay, like, and I think that like <clears throat> she did pretty well. I also liked like transition with Paul. Like I think they did a pretty good job with it, with him like going over. Yeah, to, like the Muadib stuff. Um. Yeah, I still think people like probably are going to be surprised when they see like full <coughs> arc for Paul, but yeah, it was decent. It was decent, I would say. Like it was not offensive. He did a good job. Um, I feel like there was kind of a lot of uh, like training montage for Paul becoming like. Badass Fidekin. Warrior yeah. dude. Yeah, like, I think I could have done with less of that. And there was some, like, uh, some weird choices with Stilgar. Like, Stilgar basically became the comedic relief. What? Yeah. Okay. It was weird. It was a weird move, because, like, he's so serious in the first one. Yeah, totally. And, uh, yeah, his character becomes, like, kind of, like, more jokey. I'll let you watch it, but I didn't love what they did with Stilgar. Okay. But I think Paul was good. Um. Jessica pissed me off, but... Oh, I liked how they handled, uh, Aaliyah, or whatever her name is, the, the infant girl. Yep. His, his sister, or whatever. I think they handled that very well. Like, far better than, um, like, I liked, um, I don't mind the, um, original Dune film. What the hell's his name? Yeah. 
Who's that director again? Yep. David Lynch. Thank you, David Lynch. I don't mind David Lynch's Dune. Like, I think it's like, it's stylistic. It's really cool. It's interesting. Um, <clears throat> but I think that the like Aaliyah, like baby, that's fully like sentient thing doesn't really work. So yeah, they, they went a different way in this movie with it. And I think it worked better. Okay. Not perfect, but I think it was better. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I really like the original Dune from, from David Lynch, but I still remember that the film got worse the longer it took. So towards the end, it just pretty much flew, f fell apart. But the beginning was amazing. Mm. <laughs> I'm just I'm just uh, I, I enjoyed that the Dune, but I know what you said it just felt too long the original one. But this yeah. one's just that uh, it's to me it's even longer and it's just I can't sit still for more than half an hour at a time. So Oh I can't really <laughs> watch watch it. But that would I'm be more of a you thing than the movie later. thing, right? That, yeah, that is it's a me thing. I can't sit still regardless of what I'm watching. So interesting. Okay. So you're not into movies? It, I don't know, I do like my films, but it's uh, I need to be able to pause it and come. Pause ah, it, get gotcha. Up, walk around, come back. Okay. So, like, cin cinema, I just can't do anymore. Right. I feel like that, Flynn, I feel like that's the same thing that the rest of us should be doing. <laughs> I feel like it's probably not great that the rest of us will just like sit there not moving for like two, three hours. Well, I think our, our, our times have become so hectic and we are so used to getting getting quick input all the time oh, you're right. that we've forgot, forgotten to just relax and be immersed in a longer story. Yeah, I mean, Alien is n nearly unwatchable these days because it's so, it's so <laughs> slow and we've all become so fast. Really? Uh, I just think it's the ADHD. Okay. Yeah, I think that like, um, like ADHD is like something you can be like um, diagnosed with, but I think that Marco's got a point that we've kind of um, set through cell phones, through the internet, whatever, set ourselves up to be uh, of lower attention spans in general. Absolutely. Oh shit, my camera I just died. That whole bit. Whoops. I just had that whole bit of I want to watch it. Is that five fun? If I'm able to focus and actually go, I'm interested in this. I'm able to watch it all the way through. But it's just that that one little moment where it's just like the, the attention is just <laughs> dropped. It's completely gone, and it's so hard to get it back into it. Yeah. And, and that's the point. It's either I'm fully focused on it or I'm just not at all. Okay. I see. But I do agree with that. Uh, I will show you someone like the real I did for the giant posing legs. Even though I created the real myself, I switched off because it went it went it was quite long. Even though it was like it was giving the information in the most concise way possible. Seems like you did. I think you did a good job with that one. I was looking at that one. Yeah. It's just, I, just, I just know like giant my giants don't do as well on Instagram for reach for reach or anything. Because it's always what how did the previous post it? And I'm just like, I don't care. I'm no. wanting to put these all out. Yeah, I've got do it for you. Tyranid don't do it for the reach. Yeah, 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 I've, I've got tyrannid posts that will come out afterwards. Discord have seen uh one of them that I've still got a photograph photograph. Fully. Also, uh, Kajan has also mentioned earlier in the chat, I did miss it, but he says, hi everyone, if you are enjoying tonight's uh, Twitch conference, if you do, please leave a like and maybe share it with your Tyranid or Xenos friends. Thanks, Kajan. Uh, you can also support Mr. Pink via his Patreon and it has the link there as well. Where yeah, you it's in the description. Sometimes get some cool goodies like some tyranny themed stickers and such and early access to videos and such and, and also, stls so, now apparently yeah I want to this uh, this mr pink dude is buying drugs for the money no 
Plastic crack is not officially drugs. <laughs> um. uh, also, if you want to support even more and you're in North America, you can use the affiliate link at Fenris Workshop. Yep. Thanks, Flynn. Also in the description below. Yeah, Fenris uh, ships new North new Games Workshop stuff to Canada. They can't ship new Games Workshop stuff to the US, but they can ship everything else. They've got like Monument Hobby stuff. They've got AK stuff. They've got all kinds of stuff. And all that will ship to the US, no problem. And Canada, of course. And I've got a code for 10% off your first order, and I think it's pink-fenris. I think that's in the description. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, yes, it is. Groovy. Yeah, they're good guys. Um, they like, and all of you who use the the Fenris affiliate link are good people because uh, I've already gotten some um, decent, <coughs> uh, some like small modest payouts from Fenris, um, from folks using that link. So thank you. Awesome. In fact, it may have uh, covered my portion of the crew box. <coughs> oh, man. So can Fenris help me with my yacht? Uh, I don't know if they ship a yacht to, the, to uh, Germany. Damn it. Oh. Was there anything else from the reveals that you guys were like, this seems interesting? Marco? Well, I wanted to see more of the Skaven. They did the, like, I guess they did this last year with um, Leviathan, where they just gave us, like, a teaser trailer and didn't show us any of the miniatures. Yeah, yeah same, same. I'm glad they're doing Skaven. I but did like, I did like the Chaos mod. The Chaos mod with, with the jump pack is, uh, is, is a cool model. Um, let me think if there was anything else. Uh, the fantasy chaos lord on his big dinosaur was kind of cool for me. Yeah, obviously. Don't you mean her big dinosaur? What? Yeah. It's a woman. Oh, I didn't know it's a woman. I missed that. Cool. Yeah. And that just makes it just that little <laughs> bit cooler. Like the fact of the stuff than that. The little bit that like, she's got mutated because of the spear that Chaos, that uh, Archaeon gave to her. Also, apparently, uh, the Horned Rat is now the fifth Chaos God for Age of Sigma. What? Okay. Archaeon acknowledged him as the fifth Chaos God. That's cool. Well, I guess we have Horned Rat models, don't we? Oh, yeah, there's loads of Horned Rats. Wait, there's actually that. They've, their horn rat box, you can make a load of like yeah, there's like three or four different. Big... You know what was bad about the Adepticon show? What? If we discount the chaos guys, there was not a single marine. Oh, amazing! Wow, this is something I huh? didn't notice. That's cool. Good comment. Good observation, Marco. <clears throat> yeah, almost You're marine free. Like like, because Horus Heresy was just a teaser trailer. Yeah. Uh, the kill team was... Not Marines. No Marines at all. And yep. there was no Adeptus Titanicus either. Yep. So, yeah, brilliant. Good, good First point, First time Marco. in a long time. First <laughs> time in a long time. You can do it without Marines. What do you know? They, they don't need their equal attention, Kate. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, I want to see those Skaven. Hope they're cool. Yeah, same. Skaven definitely deserve love. Skaven are super cool. Another thing to thank Jess Goodwin for. Yeah? They were his invention, basically. <coughs> I didn't realize that. It's cool. Back in the day. I guess that's why I like him so much. Absolutely. Oh, Marco, we got to talk about the thing you found. Pull it up. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Pull it up and you can you can talk about it. 
Me? No, Flynn. You, you what? found what? it. Why me? You want me to pull something up? I've never done it no, like oh, this. No, 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 no. I'm going to put it up. You're going to talk about it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, this is from the blog When My Brain Leaks, the drop strip here. <clears throat> Protagonist for Hire over on Blogspot. Let's get this over here. Uh, Marco sent this through this week. This is a cosplay project, I believe. <clears throat> so that's not what I want to do. <coughs> and this Can is. I start? Yeah, go ahead. This is someone who is making a Gene Stealer cosplay. No, let me start. You go, go, go. Sorry. Too, too late, too late. Wait, wait, um, wait, wait. Just before. What no matter. Joe has what? done a donation. Oh, Sylvia has donated to the Yacht Club. Yacht Club for life. There you go, Marco. There's your yacht. Thank Finally, you, Simeo, thanks. for your generous Yacht Club donation. Can I like it? Someone someone put a, a like. Oh, yeah, you can like now. You can like donations. Oh, neat. I definitely like donations. Thanks, Simeo, Joe. <laughs> uh, okay, Marco. So, back in the day, when, for hy when Hydra and Modern Synthesis and me... Uh, we're drinking with uh, with Jess and Phil Kelly uh, in Cologne on the games day. Uh, Phil and me used to joke about uh, uh, Trunet cosplay costumes, how silly it would be, how ridiculous it would be to be suit, suit up as a Trunet with floppy rubber arms uh, and how shit it would look. We would really having the, the last of our, of our time back then. And, well, times have passed. This was like 15 years ago or something. And um, things have changed. So the first people are building tournament costumes. I don't know if, you've got, if, if you guys have seen the costumes from uh, Spain. And oh, that parade. parade that that yeah. everyone was sharing. These looked kind of, kind of nice. And now a studio which is normally doing props for Hollywood has some downtime and they're building a jean stealer costume with... Um, uh, with um, um, proper molds, proper forms, vacuum forming for the arms, and proper carapace on the head. And it's super interesting to see them approach this. So Marco, and yeah, is this someone you were already yeah. following for your kind of like cosplay no. armor stuff? No, 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 no. I had no no idea about them. Yep. And of course, I was super tempted to just drop them a line if the, if the casts are for sale, because obviously they can do more casts. Oh, I should put the, the link in the chat. Yeah. Oh, God, you what can still doing? ask him later. When the Yacht Club is a bit more expensive. Because <laughs> you could store it on the yacht once you've got it. Yeah, I could. The problem is, uh, to store it for the yacht, I would have to chase out one of my life-size aliens, and they wouldn't like that one bit. No, probably not. <clears throat> yeah, this is epic. I'm really glad you found this and sent it through. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. And like the arms and the armor looks really good. Yes. They and... seem to be doing a proper job. Yeah. Here's the back cast <clears throat> mold. You should also find, find pictures, of, pictures of the hat, which I mean, nothing's finished yet. Is but it you in the can same already see a different one. Marco? Yeah. <laughs> Are the head pictures in this poster a different one? Different one, a previous one. Okay, I'll go find it. Yeah, that back's looking pretty good. Yep. So look how big this is though. The best is when they show the person yep. wearing it. <clears throat> There's a guy inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's it's the arms the way he put it's where he puts his arms. I wasn't thinking that's where he would go. It makes the most sense though, I think. Yeah. Like in terms of proportions and stuff, it makes way more sense for his arms to be in the back set rather than the front set. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess so. Oh, it's awesome. 
huge. <clears throat> All right, let's go find the head. Magnus for hire. Has he actually done the head for it? Or... Marco said. Yeah, yeah but you can do you can see. Nothing's oh, finished yet. What? The head doesn't. The head is not finished yet? No. Uh, it's, it's it's just 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 the raw form, but not all the detail, details in yet. But, but you can <laughs> see that they are getting a pretty rise so far. Uh, if you go to the picture where he's standing sideways in the suit, if you look in the background, you will see something. Oh, whoops. I'm on the previous post trying to find the head. Really? Oh my god, he's casting his own legs so that he can make the <clears throat> the leg parts proper. Cute. Where's the head? Oh, there's the head. Okay. Oh, they're sculpting it out of like monster clay, maybe? <clears throat> Wait, what's, what can I see when he's standing in this? Where it says <clears throat> there, well, there's an alien head back there. When you that's on. yeah, that's what I was on about alien head. Okay, nice. Yeah, they oh, got wow. two different bodies there, Marco. So that second one could easily be yours. Oh, okay, let's go. James, feel free to jump off now as you're shattered. I'm shattered too. Maybe I should jump off. <clears throat> shattered is a good word for how I feel. Would you guys be adverse to wrapping up early? No. Nah. Okay, well, thank you for uh, making we the time. We to pretty soon. Sorry? As we obviously need to pretty soon. I think we've never been uh, as low energy on the stream as to tonight. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Glad we did it, though. And I'm glad we talked about the Brood Brothers. I'm glad we talked about this awesome cosplay. Yeah. I put the link in the in the, uh, the chat here if you want to go check it out. Uh, I can't wait to see when it's done. I think he, he has links to his Instagram in here, but the links look broken. So I should make sure I'm following him on Instagram. I don't know. Check it out. They're on Facebook, which is where I found them. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm finished with my modeling for tonight anyway. Good. I'm and finished with my random gap filling with this putty that I'm not sure I'm sold on. Lucky for some. I'm not finished just yet. Well, I wish you luck, Flynn. Oh, I've only got a few art, like set of arms and heads to put on, and that's it. Hmm. All right. And thank you to everyone who showed up in the chat and hung out with us. Um, happy to see you. Right now, I see succeed, damn you, Symbio Joe, Electro Dust Bunny, James just dropped out, Kajan, Tom Wilson. Who else we got in the chat? <clears throat> I know Bargase was here. I see Kajan and Symbio going back and forth. Radon, 995, Diana, of course, Tom. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I swear we're normally more high energy on the stream, but if you've enjoyed this Nurgle Bless stream, um make sure to leave us a like subscribe maybe leave a comment what you thought of the brood brothers i would love to see what other people think of the brood brothers kit <clears throat> or what you yeah. thought about this cool cosplay that marco found for us and yeah we normally stream the creature conference every other friday mm -hmm. at this time and then on the opposite weeks we do a work of progress wednesday uh, with some other folks me and some other folks <clears throat> wednesdays at 7 30 eastern in uh, the North American time zone. I don't know if that's right. North American time zone. My brain is full of snot. Okay. Uh, I've been blessed by Nurgle. And I will be less blessed by Nurgle in the next one, hopefully. Um, although. Oh, shit. Uh, spoiler. We will not be doing a Work in Progress Wednesday stream this Wednesday because I got to go see Ali Wong. Do you guys know Ali Wong? What? Oh yeah. She's a comedian. She's awesome. She's on she's on Netflix. Baby Cobra? Is that her Netflix special? Okay. 
Uh, no, she was pregnant for one of them. Yeah, she's pregnant for a lot of them. Um, Nora got me tickets to see Ali Wong like in 2020, and the show never happened because of uh, COVID. So now we're finally going to see Ali Wong. So I'm excited. I kept forgetting that we're going to the show, but apparently the show is on Wednesday night. So, so hope I'm healthy. feeling better for yeah. that. What? Gets, bet- gets better now. Oh, well, I got a big thing I got to do for work on Wednesday, so uh, I got to be healthy for that too. <clears throat> but yeah, I got to get better. Um, but that maybe we'll see about moving the Work in Progress Wednesday stream to Work in Progress Thursday, if folks are available. Well, Will is here and Kajan is here, and both of them are my co-hosts for Work in Progress Wednesday, so uh, I guess they're hearing it here first. And we'll see. But yeah, long story short, we do a stream every week. Uh, talk Xenos, do sculpting, do conversions and stuff. Um, yeah, here's my, my big-ass Norn Emissary that I'm working on very slowly. It's supposed to look like an alien queen. Joined by another Norn Emissary I'm working on, which is supposed to look like a giant lictor. <laughs> so, they're friends. Super friends. Everyone do two Norn Emissaries at the same time. I agree. Yeah, you got it. You got to like have a bunch of them on the go. Yeah, yeah. One week left, but it's going to be done. Sorry, what? One week left for me, man. It's going to be done. Good, man. I got to take a page out of your book. I was doing that with this uh, this Lichter Norn Emissary initially. I was going like gangbusters on it, and then I got delayed. I, I, I fell off the horse, so I got to get back on it. But I'm yeah, impressed, we... Marco, and I look forward to seeing it. Yeah, thanks. Um, look forward to sharing it. Yeah, Tom Wilson, thank you so much for your well wishes. I really hope to get better soon because it's killing my sleep, man. Uh, also, we're going through all of our toilet paper, which is not great. <clears throat> I've literally got a giant bag here full of just snotty toilet paper. Important things yeah. you really didn't want to hear coming from me. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> all right, but yeah, with that, we're going to wrap. Um, thank you everyone for joining thank you to my lovely co-hosts um and we will talk again soon guys stay safe stay healthy and bye bye bye